Do you play Baraka in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and jump into these cameos. One of the first options that I enjoy using with Brock is Kung Lao for a couple of reasons. We got a good projectile, sure, but for those situations when you can't get in your opponent's face like Brock wants to, we get a great low fast projectile along with our projectile, not turning Brock into his zoner, but helping out his zoning abilities when needed. Plus we get awesome combo extension. <laughs> And I don't know about you guys, but I love having a teleport on command just in case my opponent wants to zone me out, throw out their ability, do whatever they're doing, and Brocka really wants to be in your face, cause either chip damage or actual damage, and a teleport lets you do that. Nothing too crazy amazing. I think Brocka just benefits a lot from Kung Lao's moveset, and I personally love using him. Brocka is all about pressure, 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 and one of the things that helps you with that pressure is Frost or Ball, so I love using Frost for that reason. It makes your opponent not want to approach you, giving you the chance to think, okay, how am I going to go in? Am I going to go for the low? Am I going to go with the overhead? It just gives you that few seconds you might need to plan your next play. Plus, you can throw out the orb, then just go behind your opponent, making them have to worry about you in the air, the orb in front of them. It just creates a lot of pressure on your opponent that they just don't want to deal with. And then, of course, who does not love a low freezing move where you just continue your combos from there? Again, Brock is all about pressure, 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 never letting up the pressure on your opponent, keeping them blocking, keeping them guessing, keeping them getting hit, keeping up your mix-up game, and Frost tools just help all of that. I know you've heard all over the internet from all the Mortal Kombat pros that Cyrax is an amazing choice for Brock, and yeah, 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 they're definitely not wrong. First of all, we get awesome pressure from Cyrax. Most of the time, you're gonna see yourself using the standard default cameo move, the spinning blades, along with your blades. But throwing out the forward cameo is not a bad option either to create that pressure and to create that situation where your opponent does not want to approach you because of Cyrax there. And if you ever get the chance, then of course, then that's a great option. But you can see our opponent's health is at a thousand. So let me show you what's going to happen when our opponent blocks all of our attacks when we're using Baraka and Cyrax as a cameo. You see it right there, just from blocking our combo, our specials, and then Cyrax, our opponent still lost basically 120 health just from blocking. And I know that sounds disgusting. And to be honest with you, they might nerf that in the future. So if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry if that number is different. But as of right now, it's crazy. I mean, it's a simple combo, but our back three two here is 114. So the chip damage that our opponent took was more than that simple hit combo right there. You're, you're essentially punishing your opponent for blocking, which, kind of sucks as the opponent but it is what it is with Baraka and Cyrax plus having a cameo with double blades with along with your blades is just fun to see these are just my cameo recommendations when it comes to Baraka and Mortal Kombat 1 guys let me know down below who do you pair up with Baraka and why subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time